emotion on Mari. Fury's unleashed. I told you, baby! I told you! And the family drama reaches its boiling point. Selena is 47 years old and wants a DNA test to prove one thing, that her fiancé is not the father of this 20-year-old woman's baby. Oh. It's not his baby! This the is his baby! baby. No. Oh, your place, little girl! You need to step out! The results are in. If I find out that's your baby, I'm out! Did her fiancé make a baby with this much younger woman? Thomas? Yes, um. Brian denies Victoria's baby for two reasons. Blonde hair and blue eyes. Bring them out! Bring them out! Bring them out! After the DNA test, can they become a family again? I love you. Why are you doing this? Or will it be torn apart forever, Brian? <laughs> this woman wants Marlon to stop denying their son, Makai. And there's another person here on Marlon's case, Baby Makai's grandmother. My mom is here. That's right, I'm here. The results are in, and what happens is unforgettable. Marlon. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Plus, one giant secret. I slept with your friend. And two DNA tests. Is Josh the father? Josh. Josh. The conflict. He's a liar! He's a liar! The drama. What makes you so upset about this? Starts now. Everyone, this is Selena. Welcome, Selena, to the show. Now, when Selena met her fiancé, Thomas, two years ago, she not only fell in love with him, she fell in love with his five-year-old son, Louis. So, uh, supportive of Thomas's relationship with Lewis's mother, Sasha, Selena didn't think twice when Thomas would leave for hours uh, to go spend some time with his son. Until one day, little Lewis, the five-year-old, his son, told Selena he caught his mommy and daddy doing something shocking. Uh -oh. well, what, what did he say he, she, they were doing? Caught them doing the nasty, Maury. He caught them doing the nasty. This girl was in and out of my life. I'm tired of her. Thomas is my man, and Sasha needs to know today to back away from me and Thomas. Wait a second. There is another aspect to this story that really confuses it. And that is... Me and Thomas had an argument during the Easter break. He admitted that he had a one-night stand with Sasha. Six months later, Sasha calls Thomas and tells him that she's pregnant. Uh-oh. Okay? I know for a fact that Thomas baby. is not the father of This is Sasha's his baby. baby! Sasha is nothing but a whore and a tramp. Know your place. Me, Me Thomas, alone. Man, he, he does, does not want you. you. Except Me the fact that, that he does not want you. Want you. It's not his baby. You're nothing yes, but a is. whore. Yes, you're it is baby. But you whore. need to back up. No, you're you need place. to back no, up. No, you're oh, yeah. this is his oh, yeah. baby. Oh, you place. need to back no, up. No, you're place, little girl. Now wait a second here. We got an age problem. Here's the timeline. Selena is 46. 47. 47. Thomas is 36. Six. Uh, Sasha is. 20, little girl, a 20-year-old little girl, a 20-year-old little girl. Now, we got this little child, Anthony, right? Yeah. You think that child looks like, uh, looks no. like Thomas? No, he looks like a little alien. No. He looks like what? A little alien. Uh -oh. That's terrible. What does Thomas think about all these actors? Thomas there? says that Sasha is a liar. liar. She already admitted well, to you, Thomas she you slept know, with six other guys. They, no. You know we've given Thomas a lie detector yeah. test. We're going to find out what's happening right here. Sure. Are you interested in that? Yes, I am. Bring it on. Bring it on. This is what Thomas had to say. I love Selena. She means so much to me, and I want to marry her. But right now, the wedding is off until I prove to Selena that Sasha's baby is not mine. I slept with Sasha one time. She said I slept with her more than once. 
That's a lot, and that's not true. As far as the baby goes, Anthony is not my son. She told me herself she slept with six other guys. I can't believe a hoe like that. She also lied to me in the beginning, saying that she was having a girl, but she had a boy. And if she could lie to me about that, she could lie to me about anything. I made a mistake by sleeping with Sasha, but I'm not going to sit here and let her break us apart. I don't want to hurt Selena, so today I'm here to prove that I want to be here. No, I want to know the truth. Tell me. Tell me the truth today. Here's Thomas. Thomas, come on out. Hey, Thomas. Hey, boy. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Tell me. Tell me, Thomas. Oh, well. I want to know. I want to know today. Thomas. I want to know it today. Thomas. You want to tell this me your today. woman? Yes, it is, Mark. You love her. Yes, I do. You want to be with her. That's right. Don't what are you doing with that other woman? Don't. Well, she told me that my five-year-old son was mine. You're right. you so, so, you a liar. So, so, you a liar. I don't feel this with her, Mark. You a liar. For my son. I love my son. I can see him when I met him. Wait a second. I'm talking to Thomas. When I met, when I first met my son, I right. first thought it wasn't my son. But right. I got to adapt to him, and I started, you know, feeling. So him. you love your son. Yeah. You like to be with your son. Yes, I do. And that's fine with Selena. Yes. But you, 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 you took it too far. Well. You slept with her once. Yes. Yeah, I slept with her. I regret it. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna okay. find out today. Yeah, we're gonna find out today. Yes. We're yes. gonna yes. find yes. out today. Yes. We're do you think Anthony looks like you? No, Maury. Huh? He don't even no. look like her. Okay, everybody, here's Sasha. Sasha, come on out. Here she is. I don't want her near me. 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 Know your place, little girl. Know your place. Does that child look like... Uh... Yes, he does, No, Maury. where? It looks yes, like Thomas. Yes, he does, where? 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 He needs to step where? up where? and be a father. Where? Yes, where? he where? does. Where? He where? needs to step where? up where? and be a father. Where? You need to step up. You need to step up. Know your place. You go go on that woman. Know your place. Know your place. Know your place. He needs to step up. Whatever. If you're the father of this child, you're going to take care of that child? Yeah, if he's my son. It is. Did your five-year-old see you two do the nasty? Yes. You ought to be shaming yourself. That's the Yes, yes he did. Yes, yes, he, did. yes he did. Yes, he did. He's a liar. 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 He's a We asked you, are you with Selena because she provides for you? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh, my God! Are you serious? Uh, are you serious? We asked you, have you told Sasha... Oh, my God! Have you told Tom, Sasha you that you want to marry her? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! We asked you... Oh, no! Oh, for real? How many times have you had sexual intercourse with Sasha since you've been with Selena? You admitted to having sex with her five times. <laughs> the lie detector test determined that was a lie. It was more than 20. Do you want to marry oh Selena? Oh, my God, this tramp. We asked, we asked you, Thomas, if you yeah, wanted to marry know. Selena. You said yes. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's a lie, babe. But I care more about no, this. No, 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 Selena, what happens if he's the father? I don't know. I don't know. In the My case, winner. in My the winner. case of one-month-old Anthony Thomas, you are the father. Oh what you gotta say now? You gotta say now? What you gotta say now? Oh, 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 Babe, Why you bring me here? Why you bring me here? Come on, babe. You lied all the time.
<laughs> Selena, you, if you want to work on your relationship with him, that's fine. But you have to accept that little boy. That little boy is his, and he's got to have to take care of that little child, all right? Okay? All right, Thomas, we'll take care of that child. Okay. Coming up, the situation with these three gets out of control. Now step up and be a father! Be a father! Be a father! Brian denies Victoria's baby for two reasons. Blonde hair and blue eyes. Bring them out! Bring them out! After the DNA test, can they become a family again? I love you. Why are you doing this? Or will it be torn apart forever, Brian? Stop! Stop! Brian! They're gonna run for me. Are these men the fathers, or are they not? <laughs> Everyone, this is Victoria. Welcome, Victoria. <laughs> Victoria wants to clear her name. She wants to save her family. The man she was engaged to, Brian, believes that Victoria cheated and that their one-and-a-half-year-old daughter, Aaliyah, is not his. Aww. Here's the reason. Leah has blonde hair and blue eyes. <laughs> and they don't. And to convince Brian Victoria, who never admitted to cheating, gave two other blonde haired, blue eyed guys DNA tests because he accused her of cheating with them. And just to get him off her back, she got DNA tests for these guys. <laughs> So obviously, those guys weren't the fox. So today, Victoria is hoping that a DNA test will end the madness, and she wants to reunite her family. <laughs> but Brian has other ideas. Watch this. I devoted four years of my life to Victoria. I even asked her to marry me. When Victoria's true colors came through, you best believe I ripped that ring off her finger. She has stabbed me in the back over and over. She has cheated, she has lied, and she has used me for my money. Victoria is a bitch. She has already tested two other men. I'm just gonna be another number on her list. Four or five, that's how many times Victoria has cheated on me. That's probably the number of men that could be Aaliyah's father. Victoria, your blue-eyed, blonde-haired girl did not come from me. When them results come back, I'll look forward to a future without you. Whoa. I've never cheated that on That is not my before. kid. I've never <laughs> cheated on Victoria. <laughs> my kid. Victoria, you know this. Whatever, whatever we're going to see, bring them out. Yeah, we will Let's see. Let's bring them out. We will see. Let's bring them out. She can't breathe without you. Man, but look what she's been putting me through. What does that I mean? I haven't put you I mean, through anything. She, she You're listening to rumors. Touch it. She done tested those other two other guys. Were they the dad? She were they the dad? You, what, you know why she tested dad? those other guys? Because you were pounding her all the time with these two other guys. Did you, did you, you heard stories? Is that it? Man, my called my call me and I was at work. My called me and said she was out with some other guy. I never was. Who could that be? Who could that be? Whatever. You thought these other two guys were the fathers? Was I? Well, she was could've, I? She could have been with four or five other guys. Right. Who knows? Somebody else said that you told my producers that she's not yours because she makes certain facial expressions. <laughs> Like grins. I mean, it just like it just, what? Like what? Like, the same just grins, smile he like, makes. Creeps me out and stuff. The like, same smile you know, he makes. That's why it grins. freaks him out. Grins? It freaks him out because they look exactly alike. Look! 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 Brian, if this is your child, if this is your child, can you all get back together? Yeah, I, I mean, I'll get back with her if, if you she's... Would? Yeah, I'll get back with her if she's my child, because well, I got to be... Let's I go. Gotta, I got to be... When it comes to one-year-old Aaliyah, Brian, 
You are the fuck. for a lead, regardless. I'll be a man and take care of my daughter. Come on. I'm sorry I put you through this. Will you take me back? You will? This woman wants Marlon to stop denying their son, Makai. And there's another person here on Marlon's case, baby Makai's grandmother. The results are in, and what happens is unforgettable. Marlon! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you. Are these men the fathers, or are they not? <laughs> Everyone, this is Sean Quila. Welcome Sean Quila to this show. But Sean Quila sits here hurt. Confused because the man she thought was her soulmate, Marlon, not only denies her one year old son, Makai. Aww. How cute is he? Also, he insists that Sean Quila has had sex with four of his friends. He insists. <laughs> According to Sean Quila, Marlon first destroyed her heart. And then he tried to tarnish her reputation by calling her a liar and a cheater. But today, she is ready to set all the records straight and prove that she's not a cheater and that Marlon is Makai's father. How sure is he he's the father? Yeah, I know he's the father. That's the only man that I've been to. He knows damn well he's the father of my one year old son. He knows damn well. Yeah. And guess what? You're not alone in thinking that. No. Who else thinks that? My mom is here. My mom is here today. That's right. Because That's she right. knows she knows that. She knows that. She knows that. She knows that. I've been struggling. She knows that I've been struggling. She knows what I've been through. And she's been my backbone since right day one. Right. right there. In fact, in fact, She's the one who's bought all the presents for Makai at That's Christmas right. time. That's right. Right she's there. Bought everything. Everyone. She bought presents, clothes. She's been there when he was sick, when he had a fever, when he was sick, when he had diarrhea up his back. Who was there? My mom. My mom. What about you cheating on him? With he know. Friends? He know I didn't cheat on him. I've been faithful. I've been loyal, Maury, for three years. Guess what we did? We, get, we gave Sean Quilla a lie detector test to find out the truth. Everybody has to know the history. This is not the first time... That he's denied my son. Uh, this is not the first time that he's... Because you all have another child. Yes. And he did it with the older child. Yes. And what happened? Oh, he came back. He was 99.99% the father, and we're going to find out today. This is what Marlon has said. I am so excited to set the record straight and prove to Sanquila that I am not the father of her son, Makai. Sanquila was having sex with four of my homies at the time she got pregnant. And her son got the light skin texture of one of my friends. I even took the time to do the math. She must have been looking at the wrong calendar because the dates don't even add up. I wasn't even sleeping with her at the time. The only reason why she's doing this is because she know I'm a good father. We even have another son named Marjan, and I take damn good care of him. Her mom, Gwen, ain't nothing but a drama queen who need to mind her own business. Sanquila, I know you want to be with me, but you can take your fantasy somewhere else because it's not going to happen. Welcome, Mark. This is me. Come on, man. You admitted to it. You admitted yeah, to right. it. Come on, man. Yeah, right. I was talking to you about your co-worker. You, the, the, the... you lying. Come on, man. You You were sleeping lying. with the co-worker. You, what is you talking about? Really? You're talking about the cab really? driver. What about the cab driver? Really? Ain't no what about the cab driver? Ain't no cab driver. Ain't no cab driver. Ain't no cab driver. You're lying. Come on, man. Oh, my children. Come on. 
talking about? Oh, you want to talk about the man. Why don't you talk about the stuff that you do for your kids? Nothing. What are you talking about? Nothing. 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 Have a seat. Well, let me get this straight. Uh -huh. Is there a possibility that he is not? There is no possibility. No. I've been you know? trying to How fix you know? up with How do you know? She wouldn't How even you leave know? him. How do you she know? She wouldn't even leave him. Come, Come on, on now. Pregnancy, baby, I was there. No. And by the way, I know, by the way, if Makai's yours, you'll take care of him because you take care of your oldest child, I, right? Yeah, I okay. will. I'll right. be there for him. But here's the line detector test. We're getting to your four friends right now. Sean Quayle, you were asked if during your relationship with Marlon you had sexual contact of any kind with any of his friends. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Yeah. You were asked if during your relationship with Marlon, have you ever had any sexual contact with any of your co-workers? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling. Oh, oh, right. oh. What? 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 Oh, what? what? Why would you tell me that thing? Why would you tell me that? Why would you tell me that? You were asked if during your relationship with Marlon, other than the one time you admitted to, did you have sexual intercourse with a man other than Marlon? You admitted to our lie detector administrator that you did have sex with one other man. Yes, I did. I sure did. I did. I sure did. I'm more interested in Makai. Makai. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Makai. Makai. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. When it comes to one year old Makai, Marlon. You are the father. What? What? Who's the father? Who's the father? Who's the father? Who's the father? No, you are the father. Who's the father? Who's the father? Who's the father? Who's the father? What? 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 One giant secret. I slept with your friend. Two DNA tests. Is Josh the father? Josh. Josh. You are the father. Oh Selena just found out her fiance has a newborn baby with another woman. <laughs> and backstage, the situation gets out of control. Now step up and be a father. Yeah. Be a father. Yeah. Be a father. Are these men the fathers, or are they not? <laughs> Everyone, this is Trish. Welcome, Trish. To the now, this is another situation where I am not fond of. When Trish was 29, she fell in love with a 17-year-old named John. They ended up getting married. But this older, younger romance backfired in Trisha's face when Josh started denying not one, but two of their children. Oh. Two-year-old Savannah, three-week-old Taya. Oh. And Josh says that Trish cheated on him with his friends and his elderly family members. Oh. Trish says Josh is just a baby. I guess. And all he does is play video games all day, and he should stop doing that 
to take care of his children. You say he's just a baby. He was a baby. He was well, a baby then when what were him. you doing with oh! him? I know. I know. When we got together, I didn't know he was 17, first off. He lied. He lied. We were together three years. Get married. I mean, he's he's my husband. It's not just a boyfriend. It's right. not just my baby's daddy. This I'm married to this man. Right. He's home every day. He walks past these kids, doesn't do anything with them, won't hold them, won't feed them, nothing. What does he do? Nothing. Nothing. He goes to work. He comes home. He gets on the Xbox. Well, oh, that's what he does. That's it. Nothing else. Well, you else. see, I can understand having an Xbox addiction. <laughs> But you gotta be like my son, 15, right. not with two kids right. sitting right. in the same house. Thank you, thank you, right, right, right. You should be playing My Little Pony with his daughters, not running on that Here's the thing I don't understand. You have two kids together. Yes. You live in the same house together. Yes. You do not commingle with him. No. You we do? are roommates. That's it. I mean, that's it. There's no marriage going on here. We don't have sex anymore. We sleep in the same room because we have to share a room. But that's it. That's it. He goes. Are to you going to get a home. divorce? Yes. Really? I don't care what the results are. I'm done. I'm done with him. All right. Well, I can't wait for, uh, to hear what Josh has to say. But this is what he told my producers. Trish needs to realize the only important thing in my life are my video games. I don't know why Trish thinks I would take care of two kids that aren't mine. If she wanted a sugar daddy, she should have married a guy 12 years older than her, not 12 years younger. Trish has slept with basically every man I know. She's been with my neighbors and family members, including one in his 60s. I even heard she was having threesomes behind my back. I made a mistake by marrying Trish, but I won't make the mistake to give her money for kids that aren't mine. We are definitely getting a divorce when the results show I'm right. That's how this is going to end. All right, everybody, welcome Josh. Here's Josh. They don't, don't, look, they like don't look, look like you. They don't look like you. Look Does at that. Does that look like me? Okay. Does that look anything like me? Look at this. They don't look much like me, Mike. Josh, have a seat, okay? You didn't think Savannah was yours. Why did you marry me after she's a year old? If you weren't sleeping with people, okay. everybody, where do you get yeah. these rumors about her, her sleeping with people? Who told My you? My family, Moy. She says she's ready for a divorce. Are you? Well, it's, it's what it is. If the kids ain't mine, yeah. But if the kid's mine, she wants to work something out, we can. But if not, it's what it is. It don't matter if they're yours. I don't want if your damn ass they're no yours. more. I'll, I'll find somebody who's I'll, a real I'll, man I'll to take, take care of these kids. I'll take care of the kids regardless, if they're mine. Let's find out, okay? <laughs> is there anything you want to tell Josh? When you went to Indiana, I slept with your friend. These are his kids. They are his kids. I am a thousand percent sure these are his kids. Oh, that's why, that's that's why they're not my kids. Okay. You just heard it. She's sleeping with people. Josh, when it comes to two-year-old Savannah, you are the father. <laughs> when it comes to three-week-old Taya, Josh, you are the father. <laughs> Just take care. Just take care of your children, okay? All right. You you, Whether man. you all work it out or not, I'm sure you'll take care of those kids. Tiffany and Vincent have three children, but she was so fed up with his behavior. Vincent started to control me. She went and slept with his friend Jimmy. Oh boy. Did you got to come in and ruin my life? She came to me, son. She came to me. One baby and two men. What's Jimmy, that? Vincent. Who's the father? What's, what's, what makes you so upset about this? Are these men the fathers, or are they not? 
Everyone, this is Tiffany. Welcome, Tiffany, to the show. Now, <laughs> Tiffany, Tiffany and her boyfriend, Vincent, were together for eight years. Aww. They had three beautiful children together. Aww. I mean, the relationship is far from perfect, though, because Tiffany says Vincent is a controlling man. And at one point, Tiffany says... <laughs> Vincent's behavior became so severe, she found comfort in the arms of another man. <laughs> Vincent's friend, Jimmy. <laughs> then after that, Tiffany realizes she's pregnant. <laughs> now she is unsure if Vincent or Jimmy is the father of her now nine-month-old son, Vincent. <laughs> this is her story. I was with Vincent for eight years, and we have two beautiful daughters together. Vincent started to change and started to control me. I felt like I was trapped in a cage. When Vincent and I had broken up, I had slept with Jimmy. I found out I was pregnant six months later. I don't know for sure if Vincent or Jimmy is the father of my son. Right now, I'm raising three kids by myself, and I shouldn't have to. If Jimmy's the father, I'm afraid. My son is just going to be considered as another number to him because he already has eight other children. The only thing Vincent ever wanted was to have a little boy. And if this isn't Vincent's baby, it's going to break his heart. How many kids does Jimmy have? Eight. Eight kids. Oh, boy. Now, did you meet Jimmy through Vincent? Yes, they were friends. Originally, he was... So when you found out you were pregnant, you told both guys? Yes. So they knew all along that either one of them could be the father? Yes. But it's not just my fault. I didn't do it by myself. Okay. This is what Vincent had to say to my producers. Look. Tiffany and I were together for eight years. We have two beautiful kids together. And I thought the relationship was great. I want to be Vinny's dad because I'm a good father. I'm a good dad. When Tiffany slept with Jimmy, who's supposed to be my friend, it broke my heart. I hope that I'm baby Vinny's father. Jimmy's a low-life scumbag. He's already got 11 kids. Why would he want to come into my life and wreck my family? Well, I always love Tiffany, but I'll never forget what she's done to me. I really want little Vinny to be mine. He would be my first boy, and I've always wanted a son. Everybody, here's Vincent. Vincent, come on out. You don't want to sit next to her? You were together eight years. You don't want to sit next to each other? No, sir. What's going on with you all? Oh. You all have at least two kids together, maybe three. <laughs> what is she, the matter with you? She just hurt me so many times, man. I don't, I don't know how to handle it. Oh. Like, literally ripped my heart out of my chest and danced on it, laughing at me the whole time. How do you get along with Jimmy? I used to think we were friends, and then I find out this stuff, and it's like, um... But wait a minute. Tiffany named... Vincent after you. Because I'm a good dad, and she knows it. No, because you wanted to. You wanted to. Doggy and doggy and doggy. Tell you what, Vincent, take your chair moving over there. And we'll bring out Jimmy. Here's Jimmy, everybody. What's that seat doing there? Your home wrecker. I'll Why is it over there? Because he don't need you to don't be around You don't want him next or... to you either. He don't need to be around my kids or nothing. You got enough kids, man. man. Jimmy. Jimmy. You don't think you got enough kids? You got to come in the and ruin my life? <laughs> she came up. She came up. You got to your job as a man. I wasn't doing what I was with him for eight years. What else you want got two kids. I wasn't doing my job. What else you coming to all your baby's moms, how long, what's your longest years. relationship? Five years each. Five years? Five years. Well, for eight kids, you got five seven, year relationship. Seven kids I had. I was, just, I was 18. I'm just 13. Yeah, handle your business. Hey, I tried handle to get your business. I got kids, kids in college, boy. Yeah, I know what you're you know. saying. Boy, she's younger than me. She's 23. How old are you? Oh. Does it matter? 41. Does it matter? 40, it doesn't.
doesn't matter. It doesn't, yeah. matter it doesn't matter to you. It doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't matter to you, does it, it doesn't, Jimmy? It doesn't. That's right. Okay. You think you're the record. father of that child? <laughs> I have my doubts. I have a feeling Vincent would be there for his kids if you'd let him. Yeah! Because you're going to want that child to have a father in his life. A okay? good father that will be there. When it comes to nine-month-old Vincent, the results are next. What's Jimmy, that? Vincent, who's the father? What's, what's, what makes you so upset about this? You are the father. Oh! Selena just found out her fiancé has a newborn baby with another woman. <laughs> and backstage, the situation gets out of control. Now, that woman, be a father! Yeah. Be a father! Be a father! Are these men the fathers, or are they not? <laughs> I was with Vincent for eight years, and we have two beautiful daughters together. Vincent started to change and started to control me. I felt like I was trapped in a cage. When Vincent and I had broken up, I had slept with Jimmy. I found out I was pregnant six months later. I don't know for sure if Vincent or Jimmy is the father of my son. I want to be Vinny's dad because I'm a good father, I'm a good dad. When Tiffany slept with Jimmy, who's supposed to be my friend, it broke my heart. I hope that I'm baby Vinny's father. Jimmy's a low-life scumbag. He's already got 11 kids. Why would he want to come into my life and wreck my family? You don't think you got enough kids? You got to come into my ruin my life? She came to my She came to my You're doing your job as a man. I wasn't doing what I was with him for eight years. Got two kids. I wasn't doing my job. She came to me. We'll find out right now, okay? When it comes to nine-month-old Vincent, Vincent, you are not. And when it comes to nine-month-old Vincent, Jimmy, you are the father. You better take care of that child. I'm going to. And all your others, Tiffany. Just, just go away. Act like a bad now, pal. I'm here now for the rest of it. No, you're not. Quite honestly, I am. Watch. Watch who's the daddy, Jim. Watch and see. Watch. See who he calls daddy. I will. See who he calls daddy on. He already called me daddy. What do you mean? Oh. Ask her. She sent it right, right to me. Where's my son? You are the father. Oh, Selena just found out her fiance has a newborn baby with another woman. Oh. And backstage, the situation gets out of control. Now, that woman, be a father. Oh. Be a father. Are these men the fathers, or are they not? Earlier, 47-year-old Selena came to the show extremely upset that Sasha, who's only 20 years old, was claiming that Selena's fiancé, Thomas, is the father of her baby. It's not his baby! This is his baby! No! Please, little girl! Thomas claimed he only slept with Sasha one time. He's a liar! He's a liar! He's a liar! But a lie detector test determined it was more than 20 times. Oh my God! Are you serious? Here you go! Oh my God! Here you go! But the question remained, is Thomas the father of her baby? You know what happens if he's the father? Thomas, I'm out! I'm out! I'm out! Thomas! You are the father. Oh, my God! What you got, baby? Oh, my God! Oh, my God! After the show, was there any way Selena could continue a relationship with her fiancé? No, that won't be a man. No, that woman be a father. Be a father. You need to be a father. I don't know what you got to do. I don't know what you got to do. Oh my God! Um, all I asked you was to be truthful with me, you lied. I'm sorry, baby. Oh my God! I'm sorry. Oh, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, baby. Oh, 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 oh. 
It looks like this relationship is in serious trouble. Keep watching future shows for updates. Until next time, America. happens right now on Mari. Kendra has been a devoted wife to her husband Richard. Only thing I did was be a good woman. But she's scared to death that her husband now has a child from an affair with this woman. If he is the father, what's gonna happen? Bye bye birdie. And in a shocking twist, he's now denying his wife Kendra's baby too. Because my son don't have no features of him. I'm tired of being played by my wife in this two night stand from hell. Two paternity tests and one marriage on the brink of divorce. Richard! No! 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 Claudia and her daughter Ellen are back for the fifth time to test two more men for the father of baby Cheyenne. You don't yes, want to stop. Him. I'm going to find the baby's dad. I admit I slept with Ellen, but so did everybody else in Oklahoma. Two men. Which one is the father? and more shocking DNA drama that you'll never forget. The only reason Dominique is saying it's Valentine's baby is because she's trying to break us up. He doesn't want you, he got me. A rebound, that's what she oh. is. You think you look like that child? Honestly, I don't. Valentine. It's an unbelievable hour of paternity drama, and it happens now. Everyone, this is Kendra. Now, Kendra's marriage is falling apart. See, it started when Kendra discovered that she was pregnant while her husband, Richard, was away on business. And, and then, when she delivered the news, instead of being happy about it, Richard started accusing Kendra of cheating. And then, and then he immediately began to deny their baby, Richard III, What's worse is, because of Richard's suspicions, he turned around and cheated on Kenra oh. with, with this woman, Corrine, see? And now, now Corrine claims that her son, Emmanuel, belongs to Richard. Oh. This is Kendra's story. I met Richard, I thought we was gonna have the perfect life, the perfect family, but he screwed all that up for us. The first thing he did to mess up our marriage is to deny our son. He claims when he was out of town that I cheated and got pregnant. I never cheated on my husband and I'm positive that he is the father because he thinks that I'm cheating. He went out and cheated with another woman named Corinne. He got her pregnant and that was mistake two and three. Richard believes that Corinne's son is not his. He better be right. If I find out today that Corinne baby is his, I am gone. So, so Kendra is here, not only to Richard that he is the father of her son, she's also here to find out if Richard fathered that baby with another woman, and she says if he did, she's going to file for divorce. <laughs> Kendra, you're positive he's the father of I am positive. Only thing I did for this man was be a good woman. That's it. If I wanted to cheat on him and be out here making babies, I would have did that. He's denying my son because my son don't have no features of him. Really? I can't help that. He looks like me. All in the face, he looks like me, his mom.
And that goes to show that my jeans are stronger than yours. That's why he doesn't look like this. Richard says, because he's away driving the truck, right? Or something like that. Is that what does he do? He was over the road, and at the point in time, I was with him 24 7. Then I found out that I was pregnant. So after a while, I got off the truck and stayed at home. Right. But he thinks that I cheated on him. While and he it's was not away. Him. While, yes. he, while he was on the truck. Yes. All right. When did you find out he was with this woman? I didn't find out this till years later, so we started getting child support papers in the mail really? about another child. He denies that child. Yeah, too. he denies it. He said, all So that he thing. denies both kids. Yeah. If he is the father, what's going to happen? Bye bye, Birdie. <laughs>
We're going to find out right now about it. You want to be the father of Richard III, don't you? Yeah, I better be the father. I've been around for this you long. Are the father. I better you be are the father. father. There's going to be some In the thing. case of three year old Richard III, Richard, you are the father. <laughs> In the case of two-year-old Emmanuel, Richard. One more paternity test. Richard. Did her husband father another woman's baby? No! 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 Claudia and her daughter Ellen are back for the fifth time to test two more men for the father of baby Cheyenne. You don't yes, want to honey, stop. I'm going to find the baby's dad. I admit I slept with Ellen, but so did everybody else in Oklahoma. Oh, two men. Which one is the father? Shocking DNA drama that you'll never forget. This is Ellen and her mother Claudia. This is their fifth time on the show. Now, for the past two years, Ellen and Claudia have been trying to find the father of Ellen's daughter, Cheyenne. And look how cute she is. Now, today, they're going to test a fifth and sixth man. One of the guys is a mystery man. He refused to appear. And then there's a man named Bobby. Now, there's these men not tested before. And we're going to get to that in a moment. But first, take a look at their appearances on the show. Wilbur is a two-time jerk. He got me pregnant. He gave me an STD. And he walked out on me and my baby. Wilbur's a low lie. I'm the one that's getting myself down and started by Pampers while Wilbur's sitting home on his back butt. My baby looks Chinese. Does it look like I'm from Chinatown? Wilbur, you are not. We were all shocked by these results. Shortly after that show, Claudia and Ellen came back with a second man to test. We were together for a month. I'm the one that goes get her diapers. I'm the one that goes to the store. I am not the father. Richard, you are not. <laughs> Ellen and her mom, Claudia, came back to the show for the third time, desperate for a man named Doug to be the father. I'm 150% sure that he is the father. Doug, you are not. Oh, Soon after, Ellen and Claudia returned, this time convinced a fourth man named Chaz was Cheyenne's dad. You know Chaz said he had a vasectomy. I don't think it went right. Chaz is not the father. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so now, we have two more men. Bobby, who's here, and another man who refused to be here. Now, Ellen, apparently, and you want to be able to explain this to people, one of the reasons why there's such unsureness as to who the father is because there's been a medical development, apparently. Um, I went to the doctor. The doctor says that my pituitary gland is messed up. It's, it, it's part of your brain, and it tells you when to have a period and when not to. See, really? she didn't have a period. Oh. I see, did not have a period for at least six months. Six months. I see. So you don't know when the heck. So you don't know when the heck you conceived. Right. You think he I'm hoping he is because. Uh, Why? He lived with us off and on for eight years. What about this guy, Bobby? Well, oh, we, my God. He, he's an ass, okay? Wow. He, okay, put it this way. He's 40 years old, okay? He lives 45, off of not people. 40. <laughs> Come on now. Oh, you you know what you did, you Daddy? You had six people you test. The way things are, 
if this is not my baby, then y'all need to stay away from me. If it is, then I'll step up. I'm gonna tell you something. What about the first time you went out with my daughter? You you said you was 23. You lied. You lied. I lied. But why would you let your daughter date somebody else and just take her to a motel room and drop her off? That's all right. This father of Cheyenne. If he is, you know what? He but step up. Watch your mouth. Because if he don't step up, if I am the father, you know what? We'll see. Gonna be up his butt. Is that right? Well, I guess it's time to meet Bobby. Yeah. No. No. What Bobby had to say. I'm Bobby. I'm the sixth man to be tested for Ellen's baby Cheyenne. I admit I slept with Ellen, but so did everybody else in Oklahoma. There's no telling who the father can be. Bobby should stay out of my business and help keep her daughter's legs closed. Cheyenne is not my daughter. She looks nothing like me. When the DNA test comes back and I am not the father, I want y'all to stay out of my life. Here's Bobby, everybody. Welcome, Bobby. Here's Bobby. <laughs> Why not? Because it took him two and a half years to come and say something to me. I see. No, we were trying to, to find house. you last year. We were trying to find you last year, but your ass is hard to find. What? I live in the same house. I'll stand up. What is it about Claudia? What, what, what's the deal here? How come this is oil and water? What's going on? I don't know. They got an attitude towards it, which is really kind of stupid to me, but the way I look at this, <laughs> if, it, if, your daughter had, if you hadn't slept around, we wouldn't be here. Then you asked me to marry you? Yes, I you did. You know what? You're a sorry <laughs> Thank you. And now we're going to find out right now. <laughs> We've had six possibilities, and we want it to end today. In the case of two-year-old Cheyenne, the man who could not be here. The fifth and sixth man tested. Two men. Which one is the father? <laughs> the only reason Dominique is saying it's Valentine's baby is because she's trying to break us up. He doesn't want you. He got me. She's a rebound. That's what she is. You think you look like that child? Honestly, I don't. Valentine. One more paternity test. Did her husband father another woman's baby? No! No! Shocking DNA drama that you'll never forget. This is Dominique. Now, Dominique is filled with blinding rage, and it's directed at two people. Her ex, Valentine, and his m Betsy. See? <laughs> After breaking up with Dominique found out she was pregnant with a baby that, according to Dominique, she and Valentine had been trying to have. Now, baby Nielly is now three months old. But once Valentine moved on and got married to Betsy, Dominique says he and his wife refused to claim Nielly as his child. Now, we're going to talk to Dominique and First, here's what Valentine and Betsy had to say. Watch. Dominique is out of her mind to think her daughter Nayeli is mine. That girl's a liar, a cheater, and she's just crazy. Dominique cheated on me with her ex around the time that she told me she was pregnant. He's probably the real father of her baby. The only reason Dominique is saying it's Valentine's baby is because she's trying to break us up. That is not going to happen. Leave us alone, stalker. I heard rumors that Dominique was already pregnant when I first got with her. Moreover, you gotta call the man in the little white jacket because this girl is crazy to think she's gonna trap me. I am pregnant with Valentine's baby and Dominique is just jealous. 
It's pathetic that she's trying to come between us with another man's kid. I'm not your baby's father, and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. What do you think of that? He knows that we planned that baby. He knows damn well that I was not pregnant when we got together. We'll, we'll see what the results say. We'll see what the results get say, just and so we'll I find out. You're my baby mother. Really? Really? That's what he said. That's to exactly I'm what he said. I'm gonna get you pregnant. Yup. That he's yep. gonna get me pregnant so he can say that I'm his baby mother. And now, now look what he got. Now. <laughs> you, by the way, by the way, said at one time after you were pregnant that you might not go through with a pregnancy. Yup, I did because. My mother had passed away, and all he wanted to do was argue with me, argue with me, argue with me. So I said, you know what? I'm not going to keep the baby. That's it. Leave it at that. And I didn't talk to him. I was unsure. Then when I was three months pregnant, I called him and let him know that I was keeping the baby. And this thing right there <laughs> took the phone and decided to say that that's not his baby, that I'm just trying to come between him. But the funny thing is, but the funny thing is, is that she didn't even know about me when they got married. Oh, really? That's why she's mad. It's oh. because she had no clue about me. Oh, so she, he was seeing both of you at the same time. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey. Oh, he hell met her no. and married her two weeks later. She's a rebound. That's what she oh. is. A rebound. Baby. That's what she is. That's what she is. Mommy, can you just let me out? Yeah, bring him out. 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 I'll bring him out. Let's bring him out. We'll bring him out right now. Okay. We didn't plan the baby right, Val? Take a seat. Right? You wanted to come out here, Valentine. Yeah, I did. Why? Because you want to counter it. Exactly. I don't have nothing to say with you, man. You a skank. You a skank. Oh, you cheated on me. Before we even I got did. together, you I was already pregnant. You. you was already pregnant. You telling me that you wasn't. Everybody in where we live in New Hampshire knows you was pregnant, right? You going to tell me this is the second time you don't even know who the father is. Oh, really? Come on, who's the hope? Really? You. You, 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 don't hate, don't hate, don't hate, don't hate, don't hate, cause we married, yeah. don't hate cause we married, I'm not cause you married, let me tell you something, let me tell you something, you got a wife right there, exactly, exactly, three baby daddies, the fourth on the way, two, 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 that's me, that's me, that's me, three, three baby daddies, Valentin, you think you look like that child? Honestly, I don't. I think he, she looked more like the, the first dude she thought was her baby daddy. I'm gonna make sure I bring it real close for when these results come All back. Right. Go ahead, because I guarantee you, you touch me, and you're gonna get What's gonna do? You ain't Did you tell her to make her pregnant? At first, it was like that till I found out she was cheating on me with one of my How about this? You asked me to have a threesome with you? When it comes to three-month-old Nayeli, Valentine, you are not the Linda and I are supposed to get married, but if I find out Liam's not mine, the wedding's off. Well, keep watching to find out the unforgettable DNA result. Richard, did her husband father another woman's baby? No, no. Shocking DNA drama that you'll never forget. This is Linda. Last year, Linda was on our show with her boyfriend, Will, because she believed he was cheating on her behind her back. Watch. I fear that, that he might be with another woman. 
What'd you find in the laundry? I found a pair of thong underwear with a rubber duck on the front. And I... Oh. My biggest fear is having to tell my kids that the greatest man that's ever come into their life is gone. No one deserves this. Cheated on her? No, not at all. The thong underwear that Linda found come from a woman you've had sex with. You said no. That was the truth. <laughs> Since you've been with Linda, have you ever had sex with any other woman? You said no. That was the truth. See? Thank you. And they went home, a happy couple. And they have a five-month-old son, Liam. And they're supposed to get married. But guess what? Will wants to call off the wedding. Because he believes Linda was cheating with men and women. And Will is certain that he is not the father of that little baby. So we've given Linda's son, Liam, a paternity test, and we've also given Linda a lie detector test. We're going to have them both here, okay? <laughs> so you went home. Everything was great. Everything was great. We Just shortly after we left the show, we found out we were pregnant with baby. And that was Will's dream to have a son of his own. And look at that baby. You give that baby a beard, and they, they're identical. You can't convince Will of this. He says the baby's got green, he has blue eyes, and the baby's got green eyes. And so that right there tells him. Well, you have brown eyes. I have brown eyes. What do brown and blue together make? Green. He doesn't buy that. He also thinks you've been messing around. Most, with, with your ex. With my ex, with, uh, with women, my best friend, my maid of honor, who's here with us tonight. And he thinks that I'm, I'm messing around with her. You've already bought your wedding dress. I have a thousand dollar wedding dress that was my grandmother's and my grandmother's dying of cancer and we had it altered so it would fit me. I, we have our bridesmaid dresses. Your wedding cake. A, a wedding cake, invitations, the wedding is completely paid for. And now he's calling everything off. He says until he knows that his son is his and that I am the faithful, loyal woman that I say that I am, he doesn't want to get married. Do you love him with all of this going on? I love Will more than anything in my whole life. He stepped up as a father to my two children from a previous relationship, and he is an amazing dad, an amazing father. And Why would he turn on you this way? I think that he has doubts. He says that he's been with a lot of women and never got anyone pregnant, and the fact that I got pregnant was just either A, a miracle, or it ain't his. All right. This is what Will had to say, watch. I'm here because I honestly believe my fiance's five-month-old son, Liam, is not mine and she's cheating on me. When Linda told me she was pregnant, I was ecstatic. I could not wait to have my first child with the love of my life. Three months ago, I started to notice he looked absolutely nothing like me. I began to suspect Linda was cheating on me. I caught Linda flirting with my friend. I found strange numbers around the house and random guys were calling my phone. Linda and I are supposed to get married, but if I find out she's cheating or that Liam's not mine, the wedding's off. Here's Will. <laughs> Will. Yes, sir. You don't look like that little boy. Maybe a little bit, but lots of people look like other people. Okay. I want to know why your wedding ring is on the wrong finger. Because we're not married yet. <laughs> we're going to give it back. And then I'll keep it until we get married. So you know that I'm the woman that I say that I am. All right, well, that's why we're here, to find out. Why do you doubt her? She talks to her mm -hmm. ex all the time. We have a kid together. Yeah, you go to the store for milk, and a 10-minute errand takes three hours. That's not true. You think she's been with women? Yes. Well, when she was younger, she did have yeah! girlfriends. And now, now a lot of her friends are. 
sexual, and she hangs well, out with them. Sometimes there's a little experiment when you're young and things like yes, that. Yes, well, that's what I thought it was, but now she hangs out with the same people again. And Really? Yes. You're just friends with them, aren't you? So she says. And by the way, if this child is yours, then that's the miracle baby, I guess, right? It must be. All right, so first of all, we're going to have the DNA test. And then we'll do the lie detector. When it comes to five-month-old Liam, Will, you are the father. Wow. Oh, wow. All right, here we go. You were asked if you have ever cheated on Will with his friend that he thinks Liam looks like. You said no. The lie detector determined you were telling the truth. You were asked if you ever cheated on Will with a woman. Yeah, let's see. Sorry to say this, Will. <laughs> she was telling the truth. <laughs> you were asked if you ever cheated on Will during your entire relationship with him. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. <laughs> I'm sorry. says the only reason that Tony is denying her daughter is because he was cheating on his wife, Gita, doesn't want to get busted and exposed. That's his baby! That's his baby! That's his baby! I trust my husband, and if Tony says he's not the father, then he's not. Tony! Don't touch me, son. Keep watching to find out the unforgettable DNA results. shocking DNA drama that you'll never forget. This is Cassandra. Cassandra's here because she says she's 100% positive that this man, Tony, is the father of her four-month-old daughter, Sonaira. Cassandra says the only reason that Tony is denying her daughter is because he was cheating on his wife, Gita, and doesn't want to get busted and exposed, according to Cassandra. Oh! This is how angry Cassandra is. My name is Cassandra, and I'm here today to prove to a man named Tony that he is the father of my four-month-old daughter, Sanaira. Tony told his wife that he only slept with me while they were separated, but that is not true. We were sleeping together for months before they got separated, and Tony's just lying to cover his ass. Gita is a sorry excuse for a woman. She makes me sick. She called my baby ugly. She also said she looked like a monkey. No wonder why Tony cheated on her. I did not make this baby by myself. And today, I will prove that he is the father of my daughter, Sanaira. As I understand this, Cassandra, the, re the real reason why you think Tony is denying your daughter is because if he didn't deny your daughter, then he would be sleeping with you when Gita thinks he wasn't. Is exactly. that right? Yes, that's very true. We gave you a lie detector test, so we're going to find out. Yes, you did. All right. This is what they had to say. Watch this. Take a look. I know I'm not the father of Cassandra's baby, Sonari. Cassandra's trying to cause problems between me and my wife, Gita, but I refuse to let her lies come between us. I trust my husband, and if Tony says he's not the father, then he's not. The dates do not add up. It's impossible for that child to be mine. Cassandra said that she was sleeping with someone else, so how the hell can she be sure that Tony is the father? I have 11 kids that I know are mine, and I know Cassandra's baby isn't. Sonari looks nothing like me. Cassandra, I'm sick and tired of your childish games. When you find out that Tony is not the father, you need to take your baby and move on with your life. Here they are, Tony and Gita. Come on out. Tony, 
You admitted to Gita that you were messing with her, yeah, Cassandra, I told you, I told but her. you said that you all were kind of broken up at the time. We were separated. Right, separated. And what Cassandra says is it wasn't during that period, just that period. Cassandra's a liar. It I'm a liar, like, Tony. You're I'm a liar. liar. You're I'm a liar. liar. You're I'm a liar. liar. So you ain't sleeping with me while she was still here. You're scared. No. See, I'm not You're talking to you. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. I'm 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 talking to you. Okay, I think I got the idea where both are coming from. I'm more interested in Tony. Tony, yeah. if you admitted to having this child, then you would be sleeping at a time your wife didn't think you were together, correct? That's correct. So that's why this child's not yours. That's right. Because not only do we have the DNA test, we got a lie detector yeah. test. <laughs> Here's a lie detector test first. This will determine when you were sleeping together. Cassandra, you were asked during the four months you and Tony were together, June through October, you had sexual recourse. You admitted to having sex with Tony more than 20 times. The lie detector determined you were telling the truth. That's oh, right. Cassandra, you were asked had sexual intercourse with Tony after he and his wife, Gita, got back together in August. You said yes. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. You're lying. You're lying. You know 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 you're lying. You were asked if Tony was lying. lie on the show about what he had you. You said yes. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. And now, Tony, if this is your child, if this is your child, you're going to be responsible for this child. Of course I am. I'm responsible for okay. all the children. Okay. All 11. Wow. When it comes to four-month-old Sonaira, Tony... Is Tony now the father of 12 kids? Keep watching to find out the unforgettable DNA results. No! 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 Shocking DNA drama that you'll never forget. I know I'm not the father of Cassandra's baby Sonara. Cassandra's trying to cause problems between me and my wife, Gita, but I refuse to let her lies come between us. I trust my husband, and if Tony says he's not the father, then he's not. Cassandra, you admitted to having sex with Tony more than 20 times. The lie detector determined you were telling the truth. That's no! No! And now, when it comes to four-month-old Sonara, Tony... You are not So she had to had to be my baby, right? We're I not told even, you. We're not no, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. You, 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 you brought me up here to keep sleeping. Right? You brought me. You brought me you up brought me. to New York to keep you to keep sleeping with this me. chick. You, you serious? Brought me. You serious? Yeah, I don't want to take you there. Are you serious? I told you. Stop lying. You serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I'm dead ass. Oh, I'm dead ass serious. Keep watching to find out the unforgettable DNA results. No. no. Shocking DNA drama that you'll never forget. Will Kendra find out her husband Richard had a baby with another woman? If he is the father, what's gonna happen? Bye bye, Bertie. 
Richard. No! 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 The fifth and sixth man tested. Which one is the father? and more shocking DNA drama that you'll never forget. Margaret is 16. She claims that I was her first and only, but I know a couple of guys that she's been with. We're gonna find out right now. This is Tara. This is Tara's husband, Mike. This is their baby, Michaela. You don't think it adds up, do you? No. Neither does the father. Look at me, I'm black. It's not mine. I've never been unfaithful to Michael ever. Michael? Tomorrow, all of the shocking paternity test results will be revealed. Today on Maury, <laughs> families face the fallout from the truth. Kim has an infamous past of alcohol and sex with multiple men. You are not, not, <laughs> not, not. She's already had six unsuccessful DNA tests for her daughter, Addison. Today, she has a seventh man. He is 51 years old. 51-year-old Michael. Oh, would you do this to me? You were together with Yeah, we were together. She was with seven different other guys, too. Yeah. Will Kim's epic search end after the results come out? Michael. 24-year-old Brittany's newborn is being denied by 48-year-old Derek. We, we have sex so many times. His 22-year-old daughter claims Britney is a gold digger. She about my same age! And I'm gonna be your grandma. 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 What will happen when the DNA results are dug up? Derek. Plus, doctors told Betty she was unable to have children. But after she fell in love with Darius, she had a miracle baby. He says you weren't in a relationship. We was in a relationship. Darius's story is completely different. Look out, he don't look nothing like me. He claims one of the 50 men she slept with is her baby's daddy. <laughs> Guests of all ages face the DNA truth on this hour of Mari. Everyone, this is Betty. Welcome Betty to the show. Now, now you have to imagine this. Because as a child, Betty grew up in foster care. She never felt loved. When she was 17, she was told she could never have children. So that shattered her dreams of having a family. But Betty says her life turned around when she met a man named Darius. And guess what? Miraculously, she got pregnant with her son, Darius Jr. So Betty could never have imagined that not only Darius, but Darius's father, Michael, would both deny Darius Jr. Oh. I was never in a relationship with Betty. This girl is crazy. At first, I felt bad for Betty because she told me that she had cancer. And then she told me she couldn't have kids. Now, all of a sudden, Betty pops up pregnant with my baby? She was way too desperate. She was begging me to get her friend pregnant so we can build a family. I know for sure Darius Jr. is not my son. When Maury reads that I'm not the father, she's going to change his name. When I took one look at that baby, I told my son, Get that kid out of my house. When you take a look at my family, we had the same nose, same eyes, same forehead, and baby Darius doesn't look nothing like any of us. Betty has sex with more than 50 men in our hometown. That baby belongs to everybody. More than 50 men? Yeah. That's a lie. Little do he know, Darius told me that he was never around for him when he was a kid. So oh. that he was going with that. You, you forgot about that. You forgot about that, huh? He's Were you in a relationship with Darius? Yes, we was in a relationship. He's... I don't have sex with somebody that I'm not in a relationship with. Did you forget about that? Move on. Next. Next. He says you weren't in a relationship. We was in a relationship. We got together exactly June 
June 31st, 2012. Oh, and we yeah. end up going to Iowa in September. Did you forget about that too, huh? And he was living, he was living, he was living in my apartment and That's told everybody it was his. I got a That's brand new apartment, y'all. That was a lie. That was a lie. What did Michael say the first time he saw the baby? His awesome, that's not true. That he don't look nothing like you. Yeah, he does. Of course, yeah, my son look like me all the way. I'm not gonna lie, well, you're gonna find son out right like now. Take a look at this. You were told you couldn't have children. Yes, I was told I couldn't have kids, and that really that shattered my dream. Like I really, I yeah, wanted to build a family. And when I felt that I was pregnant, what he do? He do? Uh, you got to get rid of that baby. You got to have an abortion. You think I'm gonna have an abortion? I don't think so. You know you want. He wasn't there at the birth. He wasn't there. I said I called. But I'm why, like, I'm in so much pain. But why did pain. you name him Darius Jr.? Because I, I know that's his baby. I know that's his baby. I know that's his baby. What did you find out on Instagram? He got all these pictures, he got all these pictures, all three of his daughters. Oh, good morning from the Johnson family. Good morning from the Johnson family. The Johnson girls, the Johnson this, the Johnson that. But you don't got no picture of my baby when you was sitting at my house, laying in my bed, laying in my bed, with my son going to sleep together. Well, we're gonna meet Darius and Darius' Please father, do. Michael. Here Please they do. Are. Come on. Where you at? Show me that shirt. What's that say? T T H O T. What does that mean? That hole over there. If you're so confident that he is the father of your child, you prove it to him. Let me talk to him. You can go ahead he, and talk to that thought he, over there. Because he. <laughs> no, no, thought. You a thought. That thought over thought. there that slept with over You're 60 thought. women without a condom. Oh, I got a fat, I got a fat so, year old. Oh, eh? where she at? Because you do. I do. Nothing. Yes, I do. You a dead bitch. No, 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 no you a dead bitch. Let me talk to him. Let this guy explain himself. He don't got nothing to explain. I do got something to explain. You just mad I don't take care of him. I take care of my other ones. And my, what am I mad for? What am I mad for? My, my baby fresher than you, you will ever be. What have you done for this child? Nothing. No. Nothing. This child has your, your name. I know, but that's not mine. Look at him. He don't look nothing like me. He look like me, of course. I understand He it, get but... his good looks from his mama. He get right. his good looks from his mama. Because right. you ain't look nothing. You ain't nothing, this. baby. You ain't nothing. He get it from me. He get it from me. He get his good looks from totally me, baby. Different. You ain't nothing. Totally it's different. okay. Darius. It's okay. Darius. Do your other kids look like you? That's yes, exactly like me. These are my other ones right here. Exactly like me. Exactly. Exactly. His girls, his girls right here. But he claimed that one. He claimed this one right here wasn't even his. He claimed that one wasn't even his. Exactly like me. What do you got, my baby? Nothing. Nothing. Of his father. His father? Darius told me in Iowa, let me just explain this. Darius told me in Iowa, his daddy didn't do nothing for him when he was a kid. Let's just inform really him. Oh, you got the shoes oh, I bought yes, you. Yes, I do got the shoes you got on the that you bought me. You got the shoes I bought you, though. Right. You got Have the shoes I bought you. You got the shoes I bought you. You got the Everybody, here's Darius's father, Michael. Michael, come on.
care of him. I took care of him. How many steps did you take? It doesn't matter. I took care of him. I took care of him. That baby looks nothing like him. My baby looks nothing like him. Of course, my baby looks like me. Michael, that's still not it. Betty, sit down. You be quiet, Betty. You've talked a lot. I want to talk to Michael. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sit down. She lied. Michael. What'd you do the first time you saw that child? I told him to take the baby out the house because that's not his baby. That's not his baby. I mean, my audience is going to say that's a terrible thing to say. I know. Look at him. That is. That is. That is. But you didn't do nothing for your son when he was a kid. I did. Who told you that? He did. Your own son. That's the one next to him. Darius, who Darius, are you going to be in this child's life? If, 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 if he's child? mad, I'll be, I'm there, I'm all. Hold on, wait a minute, I'm saying, I said, I said, if I'm he's yours, there. when you find out he's yours, what you going to do? Oh, the no. same thing I'm doing now? Oh. That was it. He takes care of his kids. Wait a minute. He takes care of his kids. Wait a minute, but when we talk, when we talk, we're going to find out. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Money, but I got twenty dollars right here. You can have, you can have this twenty dollars if he not, if he not the father. You take that twenty dollars. Whether it's whether he is the father or not the father, you spend the twenty on Darius. You gonna need it. That's right. right. You gonna need it. You gonna need it. Your son needs a job. Your son needs a job. Your son needs a job. When it comes to five-month-old Darius Jr., Darius. The DNA test results will set this story straight. Darius. Coming up later this hour. Kim has an infamous past of alcohol and sex with multiple men. You are not, not, <laughs> not, not. She's already had six unsuccessful DNA tests for her daughter, Addison. Today, she has a seventh man. He is 51 years old. 51-year-old Michael. Oh, would you do this to me? You were together with Yeah, we were together. It's just with seven different other guys, too. Will Kim's epic search end after the results come out? Michael. You knew. He's a liar. Guests of all ages face the DNA truth on this hour of Mark. Everyone, welcome Kim back to the show. Over the last six months, Kim has appeared on our show four times in a desperate attempt to find the fathers of her two children, six-month-old Nicholas and one-year-old Addison. Although Kim has been devastated by past paternity test results, she has continued her search for the sake of her children. Before we find out why Kim is back today, take a look at her journey on the show. Kim's desperate search for the father of her two children has been heartbreaking. I had a sex and alcohol addiction. Seven different men have now taken 11 DNA tests. Not, not, <gasps> not, not, <laughs> not, <laughs> not, <laughs> not, <laughs> not, 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 not the father. <laughs> And yet, Kim does not know who the fathers of Addison and Nicholas are. Kim is back today with the eighth man to be tested. Will she finally find her baby's father? I just can't do this anymore. So, Kim is back to test 51-year-old Michael for her daughter, Addison. Now, although Kim admits she's been wrong in the past, she thinks Michael is the last possibility to be the father. And she's demanding he step up. But now, after everything we've seen about you, you're mad at him. Why? You know what? When he sits there and he comes in my house, after the fact that I told him that he is a possibility, he walks in my house, looks at my daughter, looks at me. 
since he was two months, I had to go on Facebook to get a proper number from him. Literally ask him, what is your proper number? Quit giving me a reach around. I want your proper number. I've got some news for you. Oh, you know? That's you not know what? Baby. It That's you not my noise. baby. You knew at two months. Two months. That's not my baby. Kim. 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 That's not my baby. 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 That's not my what happened after the last the show street. when you went home? What happened after the last show, Maury? I was devastated. I went home. I had a depression, a depression stage. I could not take the fact that I, my baby girl is looking for her dad. She sits there in Walmart, Sears, daddy, daddy, daddy. Da I cannot take it anymore. She wants her dad, and I'm going to find her father. You think they look alike? Hell yeah, Maury, look at this. Oh. You. I'm 22, Maury. You're 22 years old. He is 51 years old. It don't matter. Maury, I went through a daddy phase. I went through a really big rebellion phase. A daddy phase? Yes, a daddy phase. You went through some other phases too, yes, all those guys you brought on the show. I had a sex addiction. I had a daddy phase. You know what? When I was young, I was stupid. I was rebellious, but I got two beautiful gifts out yes, of it. Yes, you did. Now, you're still trying to find the father of your six-month-old son, right? Yes. I'm still searching, and I will continue searching so that but my kids will know the But you think that truth. this is the guy for Addison? This is the guy for Addison! This is him! I guarantee you! This is what Michael had to say. Watch. I am coming to the Moore Show to clear my name. I am not Addison's father. Kim has tested almost a dozen guys. She doesn't know who her baby belongs to. I had no idea how many guys she had been with before me, and that's why we're not together. Kim waited almost two months to tell me that I might be the father. When I saw that little girl, I was speechless. She looked nothing like me. I don't feel sorry for Kim at all. She can sell that sex and addiction crap to somebody else. I'm not buying it. Kim is going down in more history as a woman that will never find her child's father. Because this guy right here is not the father. Here's Michael. Take a look at the baby, that one-year-old, Addison, and what, you walk right out. Damn, you know, it's not my baby. It looks nothing looks like me. Looks at me, me. walks out of my house out of work. You know what? You don't walk in my house. You don't disrespect okay. me. You don't disrespect my All child. Right, let's you talk definitely about don't facts. walk out with hey, my own hey, bag. Hey, let's talk about facts. Okay. You, you were together with her. Yeah, we were together. She was with seven different other guys, too. Oh. You know what? None of that's all over. You know what? You need to own what, up to what the fact you have this a child out there. Oh, I'll take care of the child like any man really? should. She's 18 months, you take care of her? 18 months, you take care of her? That's not my baby, Kim. Oh, really? Look at the baby. Look at her! Look at you! 
Kim, we have the answer right here. Yeah, I'm breathing. Once and for all. Yeah, and then you'll be paid for for the next 18 years. Yeah, that's all you're after anyhow. When it comes to one-year-old Addison, Michael, you are not. Very brave, okay? You're very brave. We cannot do this anymore. Okay, I understand you. I understand you. Okay. All right. But that that that's that takes away nothing from the fact that you're a great mother. You care for these. If kids. I was a great mother, why is this happening to my kids? Right. Don't blame your kids. Don't blame yourself. Okay? You take care of your kids, don't you? Alright? Okay? And they'll love you more for it. Well, find the father of your kids and take care of them. What have I been trying to do this whole time? You act like I haven't been trying to do anything. I want more than ever to find my child's kids. No, you need to keep trying. Those kids deserve that, don't you think? 24-year-old Brittany's newborn is being denied <gasps> by 48-year-old Derek. We, we have sex so many times. His 22-year-old daughter claims Britney is a gold digger. She my same age! And I'm going to be your stepmom too, regardless. I'm never going to be my What will happen when the DNA results are dug up? Derek. He's a liar. Guests of all ages face the DNA truth on this hour of March. Everyone, this is Britney. Welcome Britney to the show. Now, Brittany, Brittany is 24 years old, and after a string of failed relationships with men her own age, Brittany thought she had found a mature man when she met 48-year-old Derek. Now, Brittany and Derek quickly fell in love. They even planned their first child, one-month-old Riley. But when Brittany was two months pregnant, she says Derek did the unthinkable. He kicked her out of the house and began to deny that he was the father. Now, today, Derek and his 22-year-old daughter, Tangela, want to uncover the DNA truth. Watch this. When I first met Brittany, I thought she was a woman of my dreams. Until a 12-year-old in the neighborhood told me I was not the father. Three-week-old baby Riley is not my daughter. I have proof that she was sleeping with another man once she was sleeping with me. I know I'm twice her age, but I never thought I had to deal with her childish games. I never seen this child, and I never did sign the birth certificate. I already have two daughters to take care of. Brittany will never be my stepmother, and her daughter Riley will never be my sister. I'm the only daddy's girl in this equation. She's just a goat digging whore who is young and unstable. We are practically the same age. Brittany, stop lying to yourself. I can't wait till Maury tells you my daddy is not the father. What do you think about that? She have no business telling me Why do you think? Why do you think? Why do you think? Why do you think? Take several seats. Why do you think? Why do you think she's saying all this? Because she, she don't want me and her father together because we are the same age. This has nothing to do with age. <laughs> Brittany, what you got to say Brittany, about that? Wait a second. What you got Brittany, to say about Brittany, that? Sit down, Brittany. No. Brittany, uh -uh. Brittany, you say that this guy begged you to have a baby. Yes, he begged me to have a baby. Yeah, I begged you to have a baby, he but then again, you said you slept baby. with somebody else a week We out. had sex so many times. <laughs> Wait a 
wait, wait a second. So, so let me get this straight. All these flexible positions were in order to have a baby? Yes. Yes, Maury. Yes, it's that By serious, Maury. Did, yeah. he, did, he, did Derek call you last night? Yes, he did call me last night. Then. Yes, he did, Maury. What did he say? He said he wants to work on a son, work on having another son. You, you, you bring me all the way to this show to find out the results of my one month old, but you want to work on a son? Really? Think they look alike? Yeah, yes, they do look alike, Maury. The eyes, look at their eyes, Maury. Look at their eyes. It's identical. Look at this. Look at this. Look at their eyes, Maury. Take a look. Take a look. Take a look at their eyes. You want to be with them? Yes, I want to be with him. Yes. Yes, I want to be and with him. And guess what, everybody? If this is his child, Derek yeah. wants to be with her. Yes, he does. He does. Because they want to make a son. Yes, we want to make a son. We want to yeah. make a son, but his daughter needs to stay out of our business. She needs to sit down somewhere. She needs to sit down somewhere. Here they are. We're going to be Derek together. Derek and Tangela. Yes. It's about being a gold Stay digger, is that it? Stay out of this. Why are you here? It's not his baby. He's This is the Maury Show. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, wait, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. I ain't going for it. No. You know, at some time, we've all been fooled, right? Where's the envelope? But Derek, you want to be the father of this little girl, don't you? I do. I do. I'm not you want to be with Brittany, don't you? I, yeah, true. If it's your yeah. child. And I'm going to be your mom. How, how's, that gonna, too. how's that going to play? Yeah. You're so sure, Brittany. Want, don't you want to hear the answer? Yes, I do. Yes, I do, Maury. I'm ready go. for this. When it yeah. comes to one-month-old Riley, Derek, you are the father. <laughs> This woman is 100% sure her estranged husband is the father of her son because they have identical feet. They got the same pudgy feet. I don't see no resemblance. Same feet. Same feet. And her mother is fed up. You need to stay out. Please put me in. Will the DNA test results actually save this marriage? Everett. Guests of all ages face the DNA truth on this hour of March. Everyone, this is Crystal. Welcome, Crystal, to the show. Now, I'm telling you right now, 
This is a story that will prove to anybody that two wrongs do not make a right. Crystal had a two-year marriage to her now estranged husband, Everett. She says he cheated on her more than 10 times. So you know what this means. It's a revenge from Crystal. She went and cheated on him. But that one indiscretion has blown up in Crystal's face because now Everett is denying he's the father of their seven-month-old son, Kate. But Crystal and her mother, Shelly, say Everett is 100% the father. My marriage to my husband Everett was built on nothing but lies. He cheated on me 10 times, and as much as I tried to save my marriage, nothing ever worked. I was down, I felt worthless, so I sought comfort in another man. But I was already pregnant when I slept with that other man. Now I'm frustrated because I have two kids. And the only thing Everett is good at is denying our seven-month-old son, Caden. He hasn't done a damn thing for our first child, Elizabeth, either. My baby looks just like him. They have the same white, pudgy feet. Thank God I can count on my mother. Everett ought to be ashamed of himself. He refuses to step up and be a man, and I'm tired of it. I change the diapers. I wipe the tears. He does nothing. Everett, you failed my daughter as a husband. But I will not let you fail as a father to my grandson. Oh. You were with him five years. Why is this so hurtful? It hurts, Maury, because I have two kids that need a father in their life. They need their father. Wait a minute. He accepts the older child, right? Yes, because she looks just like him. And because my son came out white, he don't want to claim him. But how, that don't mean it ain't his baby. How about the feet? They got the same pudgy feet. The same feet. Look at this. That, what else do they have that's the same? They got fat cheeks. Okay. So, you're estranged? Yes. Do you want to be with him? No. No. <laughs> Not just because well, the why, son. What do you think is the real reason he's denying this child? Because I slept with somebody else. But you slept with this other person after you were pregnant? After I found out I was pregnant. Uh, and that's we what she says. Together. We, I split up with him. Because... Because he wouldn't change, wouldn't step up for the child we already have. So, uh, you're a liar. I'm who a is it father. that stepped in to take care of your little boy? My mother does everything. She doesn't do nothing. She does everything. Yeah. She don't get to play grandma. That's right. Shelly, you like this guy? No, I don't. Why not? Because he has done nothing but hurt my daughter since she got nothing. He has never took care of her. I have to be you know, the dad. You know, he's, he says he does take care of the kids. He's a liar. This is what Everett had to say. I regret the day I married Crystal. Crystal tries to act like she's innocent, but I had to find out from her own friend that she cheated. Now she's trying to say I'm Caden's father. Not happening. Caden looks nothing like me. He has blonde hair and blue eyes. I'm Native American and Hispanic. This baby belongs to a white man. We already have a daughter, Elizabeth, and I'm a damn good father to her. But I haven't done anything for Caden because I'm not getting attached to another man's child. And as for her mother, Shelly, she needs to stay the hell out of our business. If she did a better job of raising her daughter, Crystal would have been a better wife. Here's Everett. Because it's none of her business. She says it's she does everything for this baby, but she don't. Why are you so mad at her if she says you're the one who was cheating all the time? Because she cheated on me. I had to find out from her friend. We were together. We were split. She left you. We were she split. threw you out. Let's get the results. You'll take care of this child if it's yours. Of course. He better? He better? 
When it comes to seven-month-old Caden Everett. Will the DNA test results actually save this marriage? Everett. <laughs> Doctors told Betty she was unable to have children. But after she fell in love with Darius, she had a miracle baby. Darius's story is completely different. Look out, he don't look nothing like me. He claims one of the 50 men she slept with is her baby's daddy. I'm the best mother ever that takes yeah. care The DNA test results will set this story straight. Darius. He's a liar. Guests of all ages face the DNA truth on this hour of Mark. My marriage to my husband Everett was built on nothing but lies. And the only thing Everett is good at is denying our seven-month-old son, Caden. I regret the day I married Crystal. Now she's trying to say I'm Caden's father. Not happening. Caden looks nothing like me. And as for her mother, Shelly, she needs to stay the hell out of our business. If she did a better job at raising her daughter, Crystal would have been a better wife. When it comes There's to seven-month-old Caden Everett, you are the father. Doctors told Betty she was unable to have children. But after she fell in love with Darius, she had a miracle baby. He says you weren't in a relationship. We was in a relationship. Darius's story is completely different. Look out, he don't look nothing like me. He claims one of the 50 men she slept with is her baby's daddy. I'm the best mother ever that takes care of my family. The DNA test results will set this story straight. Darius. Guests of all ages face the DNA truth on this hour of March. I was never in a relationship with Betty. I know for sure Barry Jr. is not my son. When Maury reads that I'm not the father, she's gonna change his name. That's, that's baby. your baby! That's your baby and that's your grandson! That's not my baby! Move along. Move along. Move along. This child has your, your name? I know, but that's not mine. Look out, he don't look nothing like me! Like him. What'd you do the first time you saw that child? I told him to take the baby out the house because that's not his baby. When it comes to five month old Darius Jr., Darius, you are the father. <laughs> Proved it, okay? He will be. The child is five months old. The child is not five years old. The child is five months old. He will get in the But I told you, ever since we've been in that relationship, I've never cheated on you. I've never cheated on you. Darius is the father of Darius Jr. I take the little money that I have just to do for him. You know that. But can he repair his relationship with Betty? But you should have known I never cheated on you ever. The backstage drama is next. He's a liar. Guests of all ages face the DNA truth on this hour of March. Moments ago, Darius accused Betty of sleeping with over 50 men. More than 50 men? Yeah. That's a lie. And denied her son, Darius Jr. This child has your name? I know, but look out, he don't look nothing like me. He did it for me. His father, Michael, saw zero resemblance. I told him to take the baby out the house because that's not his baby. When the DNA results were read, you are the father. <laughs> Betty released all of the pain she had been harboring inside. The child is five months old. 
he will get into But I told you, I've never cheated on you. Can... After the show, executive producer Paul Fallhaber brought everyone together. I'll take the little money that I have just to do for him. You know that. Let's be honest here. Were you the best father to him growing up? Yes, I was. You, yes, so, I, I was there. Every time he called, I was there. Do you agree with that, what he just said? Let's be honest. Like, we're going to be real. I'm, I'm be honest. It wasn't, it wasn't, it was the, it, it wasn't perfect. It wasn't no. perfect. Did it hurt you? It, it did. So you know how it feels to have a father, and you know how it feels not, not to have, to have a father, one, right? Yeah. Betty feared that Darius was following in Michael's footsteps with their own son. Yes, when was are. the last time you saw him? Last week. Last week. He hold him. He they sleep in the same. They sleep together and everything. He said he loved, but then we had to do all this though. That's what hurt me. We had to do all this. And I told I told you three things you just had to do. I just said beat up him, come to the baby shower and beat up for the birth. You couldn't even do that. Darius's denial of Darius Jr. was hard for Betty to let go of. But you should have known I never cheated on you ever. Not to mention his accusations that she cheated on him with over 50 men. All oh, y'all was pumping that stuff in his head. It's oh, she over. a hoe. It's she over. this and she that. It's over. I'm sorry. You got to take that shirt off. You got to rip that shirt up. Hopefully Darius and Michael can earn Betty's trust back. He going to be taken care of, so you ain't got to worry about that. And Darius Jr. will grow up with a strong family behind him. I want to thank all of my guests for appearing today. I want to thank everybody who watches The Maury Show every day. I want to thank my live studio audience. Thank you. Until next time, America. Thank you. with family can be stressful. But the results are causing these family members to have Mari meltdowns. These young women are in love. The problem... They don't trust the men they love. Jimmy and Danica's relationship could end in a matter of five minutes. You just gave birth. Because she just received five shocking emails. From five different women claiming that they had sex with Jimmy in her home. I just had a baby three weeks ago. If he fails a single question on this lie detector test, we're done for good. Renee is married, yet still a teenager. She thinks her husband's not attracted to her and that he's more interested in looking at porn sites and meeting other women. I just don't know what to do anymore. What will a lie detector test reveal to this young teen bride? A lie detector determined. Plus, this young man thinks Clarence is secretly cheating. Yes, I'm furious, I'm furious. On his mother. Oh, 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 you. Oh, 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 my mom, bro. You need to respect me and my mom. Today, the scandalous truth will come out. But can any of the extremely young people on today's show handle it? You said you loved me! An unforgettable hour of Mari starts right now. Everyone, this is Danica. Welcome Danica to the show. <laughs> Guess what Danica did three weeks ago? Gave birth. All right. Their first child with her boyfriend, Jimmy. This should be really happy times. And she's on this show. They have found themselves on the show because Danica recently received five different emails from five different women claiming... <laughs> claiming that they had sex with Jimmy in her home. One of the women even described the furniture in the bedroom. Yeah. I just had a baby three weeks ago. I should be celebrating. Instead, I have to bring my boyfriend Jimmy here for a lie detector test. I've had multiple women tell me that they've had sex with my man in my house, in my bed. He's the father of my child. How can he do this to me? 
one woman wrote me on Facebook and described my bedroom. She says she had sex with him in my bedroom four times that day. I can't believe it. I have found women's pajama bottoms and panties in my house. Even worse, I think the women that Jimmy's bringing over are stealing from me. If he fails a single question on this lie detector test, we're done for good. Done for good? Even though you just gave birth to your child three weeks ago. I'm still not going to go through being cheated on. You're not? No. Five different women. Yes, contacted five different women. Yes. What did they? What did they say? One said that they slept with him in my bed four different times in one day. I've had women tell me that they are having sex with him in the last couple of weeks, couple of months. They've they've told me that they have taken things out of my house of mine, my my clothing that I paid for, that I worked hard for. What does Jimmy say about you every time? They're they... just trying to come in between our relationship. Oh, They're I They're just see. trying to destroy our They're relationship. They're breaking you up. Way back, when you all first started going out together, Jimmy did admit that he kissed a woman a couple of times, right? This was a couple of weeks ago. Oh, Jimmy okay. admitted to kissing a girl. He got drunk at the bar and kissed a girl. The next day, she came over to our house, and he kissed her again, but never told me they had sex. But I was told through multiple friends that he had sex with her. He's been having sex with her for the last couple of weeks. In fact, didn't you move out of your house? Yes, I left for a few weeks and moved in with my mother. And during that time that I left, that's whenever these five women were contacting me, telling me they were sleeping with Jimmy. She described your, your bassinet? Yes, that I bought for my son. You didn't find anybody else's clothing yes, there. Yes, I did. I found um, a hoodie that belonged to one of the females. He admitted that that hoodie belonged to that female. Here's Jimmy, everybody. Welcome. <laughs> Jimmy, the way Danica describes it, you kind of got an open house going on to all these women. No. Uh... It ain't nothing like that. Nothing? Nothing. You're not messing with women in your house no. that you share with them. So then why would no. they tell me this? No, why I have no Kim idea. I have no idea. If it's not happening, why would they I tell have, me? I have no idea. Why would they tell me? Just like I keep trying to tell you, man, everybody is just trying to sabotage what I got. I why? never like because they don't want me to be happy. I'm not supposed to be happy. Kids would tell me they heard noises coming from the bedroom that they shouldn't hear. It ain't never been said to me. He, women have came over to my it house and ate dinner said to me. with y'all like they were your family. No. Like y'all was a no. family. Yes. But no. you know something, Danica? Have... You know what he says? No. You blow up his phone all day long yes. when he's at I've work. I've called his phone 30, 40, 50 Every times day in one day. Every day at work. One day. Every day at work. Every day at work, man. Phone, you What's wouldn't answer. I've man, had I, women I said, write and me and tell me that they're sleeping with you. Wait a second. I try and work. I, you know, I work. I do. I do home construction and stuff. You know, and I work. When I do work. You know what I'm saying? She calls, she blows up my phone. You know, at time to time, I'm not doing much at all at work. So I got time to talk to her. But then there's times that she calls, I'm, I'm busy doing something. So I tell her, like, you know, I can't get on the phone and talk. How can a strange woman come into your house and describe the baby furniture in the bedroom? But the girl, the girl that came in the room was not a strange woman. She was been a family friend for a long time. And to like I said, you know, is, I mean, she's never she, been to the house. She, Never she, has she been she to come to the house, house and she asked if she could see the kids. I let her see the kids. Her and her and Danica has had problems in the past. So you know when me and Danica went together, so she asked if she could see the kids. Me and let this woman in my house. She asked if she could see the kids, so I let her see the kids. Then when she went to the bathroom, well, we're gonna find out. I mean, you all have a newborn, so I hope yep. everything turns out well here. And by the way, congratulations on being a good dad. Well, thank you okay. very much. Okay. <laughs> During your relationship, have you had sexual intercourse with a woman who texted Danica saying that she had sex with you in your house? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> Oh! <laughs>
Danica. Danica. Do you want to hear the rest? You want to hear the rest? Are you serious? Did you have sexual intercourse with the woman who described your bedroom to Danica on Facebook during your relationship? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh my God! Are you serious? Why? Why would you do this to me? I didn't, man. I just had our son three I weeks didn't. ago. I what, didn't. Why would the, it's not lying. Have you had sexual intercourse with a woman other than Danica in the bed you share together? <laughs> During oh your relationship, God. you said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Are you serious? In my bed? In my bed? Really? No, I didn't. In my bed. So then why I would it say that you're lying? I didn't. Why would it say that you're lying if you're not? I don't know. I you didn't. don't know. That's all Do you can say to me is you don't know. During your relationship, you have you ever had <laughs> have you ever had sexual intercourse? <laughs> have you ever had sexual intercourse with the woman who wrote to Danica on Facebook? Every time you call his phone, he doesn't answer. It's because he's in bed with me. You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done through with this. Whatever, man. And did the girls' hoodie? I hate you. Why would you do this to me? <laughs> and the other thing was, the hoodie that he found in the bedroom belonged to a woman he had sexual intercourse with. He said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Really? Really, you're gonna have sex with a friend of mine that I grew up with? Are you serious? Oh my God, I Jimmy! Didn't. Now look, now look, I Danica. Didn't. Before you go home, you have a newborn. <laughs> you have a newborn. I want both of you to meet with my counselor, Stephen. I want you to be able to talk about this. You all have a newborn. Why would you do this to me? I didn't. I'm sorry. Yes, <laughs> you did. All I did was ask for the truth. I'm sorry. In order to please her husband, Pete, Bonnie had a threesome with him and another woman. It was a one-time thing. Oh, but now Bonnie thinks Pete is still secretly sleeping with the other woman. Are you having an affair? No, I am not. Could all of her suspicions be wrong? Oh. Or could they actually be right? The scandalous truth is coming out. An hour of scandalous secrets revealed continues. Everyone, this is Bonnie. Welcome Bonnie to the show. Now, Bonnie, Bonnie has a boyfriend, Pete, for 10 years. Then they got married. But it, it, came, it came to a screeching halt, the honeymoon did, when Bonnie discovered she had an STD. Oh! So Bonnie suspects that Pete is leading a secret double life and is paying prostitutes for sex. Oh! You see, the reason is that, that uh, money becomes missing. I mean, it, it just comes up missing. But Pete has an explanation. He says the missing money are going to feed his addiction, which is fast food and french fries. I have dedicated 10 years of my life to my husband, and I'm afraid that it may be filled with all lies and deceit. I noticed that money has been missing from my husband's paychecks, and he admitted to me that he had talked to the neighborhood prostitute. I need to know if he is paying for sex. I allowed my husband, Pete, and I to participate in a threesome, but that was a one-time thing. I believe he continued to see that woman behind my back. My doctors told me I tested positive for an STD. I haven't been with another man in years, so it had to have been from him. I pray with all of my heart that Pete passes this lie detector test. If not, I am filing for divorce. <laughs> Now, guess what? We just, we just passed over a little part of the story. A threesome? You yes. did a threesome? Yes. Um. <laughs> We've been together long enough, you know, and, and I know that every man secretly desires to have a threesome. So I allowed... <laughs> 
happened, but it was a one-time thing. A one-time thing. And I think that he was continuing to see her. How do you know Pete, that? Pete had called me in Memphis and told me, you know, that our Karma Sutra d DVDs came in the mail. Your what? Karma Sutra DVDs. I asked him not to open those. Somehow I just lost you there. He opened those DVDs while I was in Memphis. Oh. And I believed he watched those with her and tried those positions with her. Oh, I see. You admit you've had a rough time in your life. Yes, I've had a lot of loss in my life recently, and it may have decreased my sexual intimacy. And I believe that because of that, he's going out and cheating on me. You really think he gave you an STD? I'm not sure. I mean, that's why I'm here today to find out about this lie detector test. If he fails even one question, right. I am filing for a divorce. Okay. So, so Pete works. I mean, he's a, a hardworking guy. He, he, he has a uh, pay slips, uh, but somehow the money comes up missing. There's money missing. He I don't says, know where it's going. He's, he, he knows where it's going. I don't believe that for a he's second. He's stuffing himself with fast food. No, he isn't, more. He has an no, addiction to French that. fries. Uh-huh. Really? You don't think yeah. so? He wants some fries with that shake. <laughs> And he admitted it the first time he did cheat on me. He dumped me for this girl and told me that it was he had just met her. In my heart, I believe that he was seeing her weeks before he dumped me for her. Nice. This is what Pete had to say. My wife Bonnie thinks I'm paying for sex, but the only thing I'm actually paying for is my fast food addiction. My money isn't going to hookers, it's going to french fries and fountain drinks. I don't have receipts to prove it, but who actually keeps a receipt for a Big Mac? I've been solicited by the town prostitute, but it's like my mother always told me. You can look at the menu, but go home for dinner. Why would I have sex with a prostitute when I have my beautiful wife waiting for me at home? I admitted cheating on my wife, Bonnie, one time eight years ago. It would be nice if she could put the past behind her and look forward to our future together. Bonnie, this paranoia needs to end, and I'm going to prove my innocence today. Okay, now, see, Bonnie, you can look at the menu, but you go home to dinner. Here's you know Pete, what? everybody. I know. She says because she's gone through a lot of loss, uh, she's kind of lost her feeling for intimacy, and that's why you're messing around on no, her. No, sir, I'm not messing around with her, Maury. You're not. I've got a beautiful woman, and I love her with all I my heart. I don't believe that. I don't believe that for a minute. You, you have made jokes. You and I have had arguments, and you've admitted to sleeping with other women. I don't know if you were just saying that to piss me off or what. Are you having an affair? No, I am not, Bonnie. If you fa fail even one question today, I am done. Yeah. <laughs> So, Pete, you and I like fast food. Yes, sir. And you dip into your paycheck pretty deeply for it? I spend probably $50, $75 a week on fast food. You do? Junk food. She thinks you're spending it on, on no, prostitutes. Sir, I am not. Why, ever... you, why should I believe that? You have lied to me about so many other things before. I, I don't even think I can trust you ever again. Pete, I read... I read that the biggest thing you ever regret is having that threesome. That and cheating on her the one time I told her, first time I cheated on her, and she knows about it. That is, a, yes. And so why do you regret the threesome? Because there are a lot of guys who dream about things like that. It's absolutely not worth it. Not because worth it. it's been nothing but a headache ever since, more. Because ever since that happened, that, that's when the suspicion started. Is that she right? She started making phone calls after this. You know, it was supposed to be like a no contact thing after that. She kept calling our house. She was calling my cell phone. She's called your cell phone. I've and seen I've her told number you. in your phone. And I told you when she called. You can say what you want to say. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Okay. During your relationship with Bonnie, 
have you ever paid for sex or had sexual intercourse with a prostitute? You said no. The lie detector determined. Don't change the channel. <laughs> you said you loved me. The scandalous truth is coming out. This young man thinks Clarence is secretly cheating. Yes, I'm furious. I'm furious. On his mother. You need to respect me and my disrespect my mom. But the lie detector results are in. I want to hear this. Let's go. And you won't believe what happened. An hour of scandalous secrets revealed continues. Everyone, this is Laverne. Welcome, Laverne, to the show. And, and next to Laverne, next to Laverne is her son, Chris. Welcome, Chris. To the show. Well, somehow in this story, the number 13 plays a part, you see, because it might be an unlucky number for some, and for Laverne, it could be unlucky for her today because that's how long Laverne and her fiance Clarence have been together, 13 years. But she thinks the relationship could end today because one month ago, Laverne's son Chris came to his mother with a disturbing piece of evidence. He found a purple hair weave on their bathroom floor. Oh! And so Laverne and Chris now think that Clarence is leading a shocking secret sex life. Watch. One month ago, my son Chris came to me and told me that Clarence was cheating on me again. But I had my suspicions all along. I found a cheap, fake, hoop earring in my bed, and Clarence has no explanation on how it got there. I found a purple hair track in a hallway near the bathroom. Now, I know my mom doesn't wear purple hair, so where else did it come from? He has to be cheating with another woman. My son and my fiance aren't speaking right now. Me and my fiance aren't speaking right now. Our whole household is at war and it's breaking my heart. So what was it like when Chris came to you with that piece of evidence? Maury, it was devastating. I couldn't believe it. I've been with this man for 13 years. Yes, I know in the past, you know, the first 11 years we were together, yeah, he did his stuff out there, but in the last two years, he told me that he was going to straighten up, Maury. So we're talking about the last two years. Yes, and Maury. This, and, and, and the hair weave was how long ago? The last month. My son last came to month. me last month and told me that yes. he found the purple yes. hair weave. Yes. You're angry with him, aren't you? Yes, I'm furious. I'm furious. I'm... But here's the problem, Chris. There's, this has got to be bittersweet for you because he's been in your life how long? 13 years, man. He kind of raised you. Yes. He was like a father figure. He was, he was everything. He, used, he raised me. I lived in his house and everything. He man. is his dad. He's his dad. That's the only dad that he really knows, Maury. And now you think that he has embarrassed you and your mother. Yes. So is it just the hair we were talking about or No, Maury. One day I came home from work, <laughs> went to go take a nap, pulled the covers back, and it's a cheap gold earring in my bed. <laughs> I don't even wear hoop gold earrings. I don't even wear those kind Where of earrings. Where did he say that came from? He said it may be one of my daughters. My daughters do not sleep in my bed. <laughs> About the hair weave. He said that may come from my daughters also. My daughters don't wear hair weave, and I don't even wear hair weave, and especially no. purple. So, in other words, he says he loves you. Why would he hang around if you think he's messing around with other people? Maury, I truly believe he's with me because I'm the bread soul winner right now. I'm the one that's taking care of all the bills. I'm the one that's working. Yeah. I'm yeah, he's doing everything. He's cheating. I think he's, I think using, he's cheating. He's using my mind. Well, Clarence says, he swears that in the last two years, he's turned his life around, he goes to church, he loves you all dearly, and he wouldn't do anything like that. This is what Clarence told my producers. Laverne and I have been together for 13 years. Everything was great until about one month ago. When Laverne's son, Chris, starts sticking his nose where it doesn't belong, he started telling his mother I was having secret phone conversations in the bathroom with other women, telling them that I liked how they looked that day. Even if these phone conversations did take place, they're none of his damn business. 
Chris say that he found a purple hair weave in the hallway. There's two women living in our house, and they always have friends over doing hair. Laverne claims she found a hoop earring in our bed. All I can tell you is it didn't come from a woman that I slept with. Chris, I refuse to let you destroy my relationship with your mother. Laverne, I love you and I just want you to trust me. When the test proved that I'm telling the truth, I want an apology from you and Chris. Everybody, here's Clarence. Clarence, come on out. You need Real to res talk. you need you to learn to respect you me and my own You need to respect my mom, but 13 years, 13 years. That's right. You, that's Have not nothing to play with. Have a seat. Go over there. That ain't nothing to play with. Like real talk. You sit over here. Let me sit next to my woman. Oh really? Okay. Wow. It's you not my business. It's, not, it's not my business. That's my I'm mama. I love her. It is my business. I do not want you I know one thing, I know one thing. This test come back, you cheating, you gone, bro. Well, with this gone. test come back, yeah. you're not uh, gonna be gone. Yeah. You raised him. That's right. Then if you're raised, then why would you do this to me? Why would you even show him an example of how you cheat? Levon, I swear, I haven't seen it in the last two years. Like I said, when, when I said I was gonna change, I changed. I found God and I, and I love you. Okay, well, whose earring was that in my bed then? I have no idea. Okay, I don't whatever. Whose purple hair was that? I don't wear hair wings. Well, your whose daughter do hair. Five days a week at the your daughter do all... Five days a week at the donor. Oh, I leave the house every day. Five days a week at the donor. And your video game. Five days a week at the donor. So, in other words, you use the center as an excuse to leave. Well, yes, I leave every day. So, in other words, you use the center as an excuse to leave. Well, yes, I leave every day. Right. I yeah, but you what. tell you tell me that you're going to do other things and you go out and then you don't come back home. Sometimes I call your phone and then your phone, you never answer the phone. Why don't you answer the phone? Why? What's up? What's wrong? Why you not answering the phone? You always claim you don't hear your phone. You either, always claim you don't hear your phone. Either I don't hear it or it or it doesn't. Whatever, talk. whatever. I don't want to hear it. Why, doing can, something. why can't you believe he that he's trying to I can't his wait for this lie to take the test to prove it. I can't wait the for the lie to take so the test to prove it. If it's proven that you cheat on me, you are gone. You are fine. Hey, hey, hey. And if you're proven that I'm telling the truth, he's gone. Come on, let me see this. I want to hear this. Let's go. I'm getting excited now. <laughs> Let's make sure you look me in my eye, because I want to know. Oh, yes, baby, I love you. All right, we We asked see. you, okay, we asked see. you, Clarence, did the purple hair track that Chris found on the bathroom floor belong to a woman that you had sexual intercourse with? No. You said no. The lie detector determined. The lie detector results are next. And you won't believe what happened. No, I am not. Don't change the channel. <laughs> you said you love me. The scandalous truth is coming out. An hour of scandalous secrets revealed continues. One month ago, my son Chris came to me and told me that Clarence was cheating on me again. I found a cheap fake hoop earring in my bed, and Clarence has no explanation on how it got there. I found a purple hair track in a hallway near the bathroom. Me and my fiance aren't speaking right now. Our whole household is at war and it's breaking my heart. Laverne and I have been together for 13 years. Everything was great until about one month ago, when Laverne's son, Chris, starts sticking his nose where it doesn't belong. Chris said that he found a purple hair weave in the hallway. All I can tell you is it didn't come from a woman that I slept with. Laverne, I love you, and I just want you to trust me. I can't wait for the lie to take the comeback, too. If it's proven that you cheat on me, you are gone. You are fine. Hey, hey, and if you're proven that I'm telling the truth, he's gone. Come on, let me see this. I want to hear this. Let's go. I'm getting excited now. Let's make sure you look me at my eyes. Oh, know. yes, baby, I love you. All right, we we asked you, okay, we we asked you Clarence, did the purple hair track that Chris found on the bathroom floor belong to a woman that you had sexual intercourse with? No. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Yeah. Oh. That's just one more.
more. Keep going. Keep going, Maury. That's just one. 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 We asked you, did the hoop earring that Laverne find in your bed belong to a woman you had sexual intercourse with? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Yeah. Come on, come on. Thank Keep you. Going. Thank Keep you. Going. We asked you, have you had sexual intercourse with another woman when you say you are going to donate plasma? This you, one I want to hear. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Yeah. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Man, you're good. Man, you're good. We asked you, in the past two years, in the past two years, have you ever had sexual intercourse with another woman in the bed you share with Laverne? You said no. The lie detective determined you're telling the truth. One more. And this one yeah. more. We got one more. Don't get don't get too excited yet. We don't asked you excited. during the past two years of your relationship with Laverne, have you had sexual contact of any kind with any other woman? Does that say everything? Everything. That I'll says be. everything. You said no. The lie detective determined you are telling the truth. <laughs> My bad. My bad. My bad. Well, I have to My bad. My bad. You wanted a faithful man. You now have a faithful man. Okay. Yeah. So go home. Be happy. Thank you very much, Chris. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Renee is married, yet still a teenager. She thinks her husband's not attracted to her, and that he's more interested in looking at porn sites and meeting other women. I just don't know what to do anymore. What will a lie detector test reveal to this young teen bride? A lie detector determined... Are you having an affair? No, I am not. Don't change the channel. <laughs> you said you love me! The scandalous truth is coming out. An hour of scandalous secrets revealed continues. Everyone, this is Renee. Welcome, Renee. To the now, having a child born with a disability can put a lot of stress on a new marriage. But uh, for Renee, this strain has been magnified because she fears her husband, Matt, has been cheating. She discovered Matt on six profiles of different dating sites. And Matt got caught paying to view live women on porn sites. Then sent half-naked pictures of himself to other women. This is how much it's upsetting Renee. The day Matt asked me to marry him, it was the 4th of July. And I never cried so much from just being happy. My marriage is failing. I just don't know what to do anymore. There's just so many different reasons why he think Matt's cheating on me. Why would he have dating websites if he's married to me? He comes home and he watches porn all the time and he won't even have sex with me anymore. Discovering that our daughter had cystic fibrosis and ruining our marriage. It hurts so much that I can't cure it and I can't take it away from her. I feel so alone in this marriage. And I don't want to be lonely anymore. Okay. We better tell everybody about a certain side of Matt. He is a terrific father he's to the, your daughter. He's the best dad I could ever ask for. He loves her so much. And he does everything he can for her. And you're pregnant. <laughs> and you also think that maybe he is messing around with other women because you've gained weight? This is what Matt had to say. <laughs> Renee and I got married young, but I wouldn't change it for a thing. She's my life, she's my everything. The day we got engaged was the 4th of July. I couldn't think of a better way to celebrate it than with fireworks. 
when my daughter was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis, it was it was really stressful. It was in and out of hospitals. It was just too much to bear. Ever since the pregnancy, Renee has put on a little bit of weight. That's caused her to have a really low self-esteem. It hurts me to think that because of her insecurities, she thinks that I'm just gonna cheat on her. I stood by her through thick and thin. She should trust me. They say trust is earned. And after this lie detector test, I know I'll earn her trust back. All right, everybody, here's Matt. Matt, come on out. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. you love this woman? Yes, I do. You wouldn't cheat on her? No, I would not. You would not? No. Because I want to tell you, a lot is at stake here. First of all, congratulations on being a terrific dad. Thank you. You would not want that relationship changed. You wouldn't want that relationship changed because your wife might get rid of you if you've been cheating on her. You wouldn't want to damage that, right? No. That, you have another child coming. You yes. should be excited. Yeah, I'm extremely excited, actually. You are? Yes. How about all these accusations and suspicions? I'm not too excited about that. I, I well, what really else don't... do you want me to think, Matt? How do you explain the websites? They have all your information. They have your age. You're, you're sending half-naked pictures of yourself to women was because you just wanted to show people how much weight you had lost at the yeah. time? <laughs> we were talking about weight loss. She right. said she was gaining weight, so I was telling her what I did to lose all that weight because yeah. I did lose a so lot of weight. So then why did you need to send her a half-naked picture? Why can't you have your shirt on her? What are the other many Because that was the only have? picture I had back okay. then with okay. how I looked. We're going to find out the results right now, okay? <laughs> we asked you, did you have sexual intercourse with the woman who you sent a half-naked picture of yourself to? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. <laughs> we asked you, during your relationship, we asked you, during your relationship with Renee, have you ever signed yourself up for dating websites in order to have sexual intercourse with other women? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. <laughs> we asked you, Matt, did you, during your relationship with Renee, have you ever had any type of sexual contact with any other woman? You said no. The lie detector determined you are telling the truth. <laughs> This is a good man. You're lucky to have In order to please her husband, Pete, Bonnie had a threesome with him and another woman. It was a one-time thing. Oh, but now Bonnie thinks Pete is still secretly sleeping with the other woman. Are you having an affair? No, I am not. Could all of her suspicions be wrong? Oh. Or could they actually be right? The shocking truth is next. An hour of scandalous secrets revealed continues. I have dedicated 10 years of my life to my husband, and I'm afraid that it may be filled with all lies and deceit. I noticed that money has been missing from my husband's paychecks, and he admitted to me that he had talked to the neighborhood prostitute. I need to know if P is paying for sex. My doctor told me I tested positive for an STD. I haven't been with another man in years, so it had to have been from him. I pray with all of my heart that Pete passes this lie detector test. If not, I am filing for divorce. My wife Bonnie thinks I'm paying for sex, but the only thing I'm actually paying for is my fast food addiction. I've been solicited by the town prostitute, but it's like my mother always told me. You can look at the menu, but go home for dinner. Bonnie, this paranoia needs to end, and I'm going to prove my innocence today. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Okay. During your relationship with Bonnie, have you ever paid for sex or had sexual intercourse with a prostitute? You said no. The lie detector determined. You are telling the truth. 
told you. During your relationship, did you have sexual intercourse with the woman you and Bonnie had a threesome with more than that one time? You said no. The lie detector determined you are telling the truth. Oh! Did you contact an STD because you had sex with a woman other than Bonnie during your relationship? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh! <laughs> Who did you sleep with? Did you have sex or intercourse? You are done. Did you have sex or intercourse with the woman you admitted to cheating on Bonnie with more than the one time that Bonnie knows about during the relationship? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. That STD, Bonnie Lynn. Get away uh, from me! Get away from me now! We are done. You can take that ring off because it does not belong to your heart anymore. Why did you do this? You said you, you said you loved me. You said you only wanted to be with me. I do, Bonnie Lynn. Why would you sleep with somebody else? Then? I haven't slept with anybody else. That's anything. a that was over eight Why? years ago. Why? Why would you do this to us? You passed every other question but those two. That proves your line. We just had a baby together, and now did. you ruined everything. An hour of scandalous secrets revealed continues. I want to thank all of my guests for joining me today. I want to thank everybody across the country who watches Maury so loyally every day. I want to thank my live studio audience.